Some of the well-known people associated with the Teapot Dome scandal are Teddy Roosevelt, William Taft, and Woodrow Wilson. These men were involved in the making of Naval Petroleum Reserves in California and Wyoming. These reserves were only to be used by the Navy when regular oil reserves diminished. These three naval oil fields were Elk Hills, Buena Vista Hills, and the Teapot Dome. The oil reserve in Wyoming was known as a Teapot Dome because of its appearance, which was a teapot-shaped rock that covered the underground oil source. Although some politicians thought this was necessary to do, other politicians and other small oil companies opposed these restrictions on the new found oil sources. These people thought that pre-existing American oil companies should provide oil for the U.S. Navy and that no backup plan was needed. Senator Albert B. Fall was one of these politicians who opposed the conservation of oil for the naval troops. Fall later became the Secretary of the Interior under Warren Hardy in 1914. Fall convinced Edwin Denby, the Secretary of Navy, to lease to give him complete control of the Naval Petroleum Reserves. The actual scandal occurred after Fall leased the Teapot Dome Oil Reserve to two other oil companies, the Mammoth Oil Company and the Pan American Petroleum Company. After leasing the oil reserve, Fall received numerous gifts from Harry Sinclair and Edward Doney, the men who the Teapot Dome was leased to. These so-called gifts from the men totaled to about $400,000. Fall tried to keep these actual bribes from the public eye and other politicians. But when his living ways were upgraded, people started to get suspicious. The scandal was first released to the public in 1924, after the committee of the U.S. Senate found out about the bribes. Thomas J. Walsh, a Democrat from Montana, was a specific Senate member who was investigating Fall's acts. After being discovered, there were a series of civil and criminal suits that related to the Teapot scandal. After years in court, the Supreme Court ruled that in this case, the oil leases had been corruptly obtained and invalidated. After this ruling in 1927, the Navy regained control of the oil reserves at Teapot Dome and Elk Hills. The jury found Albert Fall guilty, and in 1929, he was fined $100,000 and sentenced to one year in prison. Harry Sinclair, one of the men who gave Fall the bribes, received a short sentence, but Edward Doheny, the other man who was involved with Fall's bribes, was found not guilty and got away with any sentence or fine. The Teapot scandal did not um, help either political party in the 1920s, but it did impact the 1924 presidential election. The public waited to see which party would take fault for the scandal, but neither party could 